in the comments on my other mud flap video I got asked if I was going to fit rears uh, the issue I've got you can see with the alloy wheels on you've got a very very tight gap there I would say just over an inch um, I've read on the internet that there could be an issue with them catching and it certainly does look that So I'm going to see if I can adapt another set of mud flaps that are a lot thinner um, and make them fit. First job's going to be get the wheel off, jack it up and stick an axle stand another so I can see if I can actually do the job. Okay, so with the wheel off and two axle stands under, I can see that I've got a bit more access now. What I'm thinking is if I can remove this plastic peg here and uh, use it for a bolt hole, and then make a little bracket to come off there should be able to fit this style of mud flapping so the same as when I did the rear doors I've just got my trim tool and I'm going to lever that off I need two hands for this so camera down I can't be bothered to get my tripod sorry so my first plan now I've got the thing out is to make a mounting point there and for that, I'm going to rivet on that little L-shaped bracket and then we'll see what we can do from there on. Right, the original little bracket I showed you isn't long enough, so I'm going to make the bigger one there slightly shorter and use that. With something like that as you can see I've got a very thin bolt on there so there's no chance of that catching on the tire and there we go for the bracket now to mount through the body just gonna mark now where I want to drill the hole God, he's drilled a brand new van. Just gonna screw that on now. Right, so I've just marked where this hole is now, where I took the clip out of. It's gonna go in there like that with a bolt in it. I'll tighten this up obviously once I'm in final position. Because there's no load bearing on the top here I've just drilled a tiny hole in here and put a little self tapping screw into the plastic it's all pretty good hopefully you can hear me someone's mowing their lawn so that's the bracket from the back and the mud flap from underneath. And if you can hear me again, that's kind of what it looks like from behind. It's not sticking out too far, but it's covering the whole of the tire. So it should help with the spray. 
Yeah, I think that looks all right. Quite happy with that. You've got to guess what car they're off now. Give us a clue. I've got one. There we go then. So being very thin, I've still got plenty of gap in there. They're not going to catch. <laughs> 